welcome to our channel Palanga Tips. In this tutorial, uh, you will learn that how we can create this beautiful procedural polka dots fabric material in Blender with the help of nodes. And here you can see that I add the different combination of wave texture and boronite texture to create this fabric material. And here I plug in all the required color and ascension value into the group input node to make a custom node group. And here you can see that this is the custom node group of procedural polka dot fabric material and from this node group you can easily change the fabric color overall scale fabric color dots color and also all other parameter and here we check uh, these parameters one by one if i increase the scale then you can see that the dots are increase and decrease according to the scale value and here this is the fabric color by choosing this you can change the color of the fabric according to your requirement and this is the dot color of this fabric and here you can see we change the color accordingly and this is the dot scale and here you can see the difference and uh, this is the dot randomness to randomize the dots beautiful and this is the wave scale and if i zoom in uh, this fabric material and here you can see that uh, there are a small piece detail of this fabric and here I increase and decrease these weave strengths. Beautiful and this is the roughness of this fabric material increase or decrease this roughness and this is the bob strength and this is the sheen value sheen strength and here you can see that the reflection of a different color is changed according to the sheen strength and this is the uh, tint color the reflection of this color according to the sheen strength and tint color beautiful and if you want to purchase this material then you can visit my patreon page and govern stores along with all of my other materials which i created links are in descriptions so let's start first i open the blender and uh, set up the scene and here you can see that uh, this is the 3d viewport and here i am in camera view and also in a rendered view and here you can see that i convert this plane into the cloth by using the cloth physics properties and i collide uh, this uh, cloth with the uh, uv sphere to create this shape of the cloth and if i enter into the edit mode of this cloth then you can see that this is the highly subdivided object beautiful and this is the shader editor and here i rename this material procedural polka dots fabric material which is i am going to create nice and here i add some weaves detail to this fabric so for that by pressing shift a here i search for the wave texture and place the wave texture something like here and by pressing ctrl t this will be at the texture coordinate and mapping this is the feature of node regular add-on and here i use the uv coordinate at this time and press ctrl shift and select the wave texture to preview the wave texture and here i adjust the value of this wave texture and here i increase the scale up to 280 and here i increase the distortion uh, up to 5 and here i see this wave texture clearly and here i decrease the detail beautiful now select this wave texture and control shift t to duplicate and place this something like here and also move the texture coordinate mapping here nice and also plug in into the vector of the second wave texture and here i change this into the y direction because this is into the x direction and this is into the y direction beautiful now i want to mix both these wave texture so for that select this wave texture by pressing shift and press ctrl 0 this will be add the mix color to mix both these wave texture and here you can see that the both wave textures are mixed with each other beautiful and here i plug in this value into the normal beautiful and here you can see uh, this is the shading issue because uh, this is the color data and this is the normal data to convert the color data into the normal data 
here I search for the bump node and place the bump node something like here and also the normal into the height. Beautiful. And now here you can see the material is uh, too much bumpy and here I reduce the bump by decreasing this wave strength and here I choose the value of point 200. Beautiful. Now our object fabric cloth has a weave, small weave details. Select these and move these something like down. And here now I create a dot, circular dots for this cloth fabric. So for that, here I search for the Voronoi structure by pressing Shift A. Here I search for the Voronoi structure and place the Voronoi structure. Uh, something like here and here I use the same mapping into the vector of the Voronoi texture and here by selecting this press ctrl shift to preview the Voronoi texture and here I change some value of this Voronoi texture and here I increase the detail up to the uh, 15 and uh, here I decrease the randomness up to 0 and here you can see that to make these dots more contrasty, here I use the node, press shift A, here I search for the uh, math node and place the math node something like here and here I choose the value uh, in comparison less than, beautiful. And here I increase and decrease the threshold to adjust the value and here I decrease this and you can see the dots are formed and here I find the value 0.300 beautiful now it's looking better nice and now here I add the mix color to add some color to this fabric by pressing shift a here I search for the mix and place this mix color here and also uh, this vector into the value into the factor now this factor determine where is the color a and where is the color b and here i plug in this into the base color and here the bsdf into the surface beautiful now here i change the color to change the color of the fabric and also uh, of the dots and here i choose the color something like here I something like choose the color blue fabric and also scale down to make it some more dark beautiful and for dot here I choose some red type color and also make it some more dark beautiful and here I uh, change some setting in principal PSTF uh, here you can see the material is too much shiny and uh, you can see the cloth are not too much shiny and here i increase the roughness up to the 0 0.750 beautiful and here in sheen here i increase the sheen weight to add some reflection to this cloth so for that here i enter the value to the 0 0.500 i also give some tint color to this so for that here i uh, give some tint color uh, something like this color and uh, also make it some more dark beautiful nice and here is the final node setup of this procedural polka dots fabric material beautiful nice and by pressing f12 you can see this material in rendered view and here is the final render of this fabric material thanks for watching